Hey guys, and welcome to this video on logical equivalence. So here we want to use the laws of logic to prove the following logical equivalence. And I have the logical equivalence in green here. It says P and Q or not Q and not P and Q or P is logically equivalent to just P. Okay, so let's go ahead and prove this using laws um, of logic. So first thing, we're going to use um, the negation law. So negation law. And the negation law basically says P or not P is logically equivalent to true. Okay. So now we rewrite this, we will get um, this here. We'll get P and true and not P and Q or P. Okay. All right. So now let's. Uh, yeah, and this right here is actually, this is still, this is logically equivalent to um, this left equation here, the left side of the equation. So what we're actually going to be doing is a whole bunch of steps in between until we can uh, get an equivalence of P, which is on our right-hand side up here. Okay, just want to make that very clear. All right, so let's use another law now. I'm going to use the identity law. Maybe I'll just highlight that there. And now we'll say identity law. All right. And this law basically says um, P and true is logically equivalent to P. All right. So now if we rewrite our equation, we get P and not P and Q or P. Okay. All right. So um, we still haven't said it. It's still not equal to P yet. So let's use another law. Um, we will use maybe the De Morgan's law. So, De Morgan's law, and this basically states that not P and Q um, is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. Okay. So now let's rewrite our equation and let's see what we get here. So we get P and um, not P or not Q or P. Okay. All right. So let's use another law here. Um, we will use the commutative law. law okay and this law basically states that P or Q is logically equivalent to Q or P all right and we're going to rewrite our equation now so we're going to get P and um, here we're going to do not Q. Uh, let me make sure I'm writing this correctly. Yes. So not Q or not P or P. And make sure I got my brackets uh, matched up. All right. So that looks right. 
Uh, now what we're going to do is use the associative law. And sometimes you'll see that people use the commutative law and the associative law together. But the associative law uh, basically states that uh, P or Q or R is logically equivalent to P or R, I'm sorry, Q or R. So you can see we basically just move the parentheses. All right. So now let's rewrite our equation. So we get P and uh, not Q or not P or P. OK. All right, so let's use another law here. We're going to use the um, negation law again. And if you remember, the negation law says P or not P is logically equivalent to true. So now if we rewrite our equation, we get P and not Q or true. All right. And since I'm running out of room, I'm going to need to erase um, some some of the top here. So I'm just going to erase those two lines. All right. So now let's use another law. And here we can use the uh, domination law now. So domination. Law. And it basically states that P or true is logically equivalent to true. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite our equation again. And I remember it was down here. It was P and not Q or true. So that's just going to be P and true. So P and true. And we're almost done. So now we want to use the identity law. All right, and this law states that P and true is logically equivalent to P, which is what we want to show. So we just get P here. All right, and now we've basically shown that this logical equivalence here, this equation, is logically equivalent to P. The left-hand side is logically equivalent to P the right hand side all right so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed the video please leave any questions you have comments likes don't forget to share the video and don't forget to subscribe uh, i have more videos on logical equivalence if you guys want to check those out i have it in the link i have links in the description below and thanks as always for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next video